I think one of the misconceptions is uh, that horticulture or sustainable horticulture is basically pushing a lawnmower and applying fertilizers and pesticides. And that is clearly not a profession. It's a part of it, a small part. The broadening part is teaching folks how to green the world, how to change um, and lessen environmental impact. Part of the possibility of sustainable horticulture is that it's, it's, it's broad and there's things that I haven't thought of or you haven't thought of, but the students research and think of themselves. Based on every program that I saw in the area, uh, this program had the most comprehensive horticulture specific courses and certifications for where I wanted to go. We've looked at the environment as a whole and then also gone deep into each individual element to the point where I feel confident, confident to be able to one, work in the environment, step into an industry and start right off the bat doing good work. Here in the program we go out, we look at things, um, how things could be different. We work in the greenhouse, do lots of planting. The hands-on experience, you couldn't get the same, the same knowledge from without it. You have to have the hands-on experience. Being able to stay hands-on, focus on a little bit of school, focus on more hands-on part of school, I was naturally drawn to it and I've been in love with it ever since I started. CCBC Horticulture Program offers an Associate of Applied Science degree in Sustainable Horticulture along with certificates in landscape design and installation, greenhouse production, and turf and landscape maintenance. So these courses do transfer. The certificates can give you immediate entry into the field. I use the courses to enhance my drawing skills, to get my plant knowledge, and then eventually uh, met a fellow student here at the program and we went on to create a successful landscape design and build company. I graduated um, spring of 2010 and then went on to the uh, University of Maryland College Park for the Landscape Management Program in uh, the fall of 2010. Um, actually in the summer when I graduated I got uh, three job offers from um, landscape management companies and two nurseries. What sets us apart from the others are our instructional gardens and our professional faculty that come from the field to teach students about the possibilities in the profession. To teach the, the environmental part of horticulture, we have installed a number of new technologies that are being used in the field. I think the first one is to mention is the rainwater exchange, a system that helps harvest rainwater that can be used for um, watering lawns, in our case it's to water the greenhouse, that would become stormwater and pollution that would end up um, pretty quickly in the Chesapeake Bay. The greenhouse is just one of many facilities here that we have that actually support student learning. And it's also a way that we can uh, propagate native species and use those uh, plants to um, vegetate our campus. The other technologies we have on campus is a demonstrative green roof, which is a new technology that helps keep stormwater on site, primarily in, in the rooftops, on rooftops of buildings, and in the tissues of plants. We have two examples of living walls. Um, one is an interior wall that our students have designed and put together as part of our classroom work. And the other one is an exterior living wall, which acts as a retaining wall that replaces things like concrete block or railroad ties and allows uh, the wall to become habitat to plants and, and animals. The program is uh, basically about greening the, the earth. There's few programs like this on the community college level in the state. We're one of three. Uh, students should come here to, to study this program because there's actually good uh, professional possibilities in sustainable horticulture.